Good evening, and welcome back to Timberborn, where we've got loads of food in the field. Loads of food in storage. But not loads of foods in beavers' bellies, because we had a problem. And it was an oversight on my part, and it, it was something that I even mentioned in the last episode that I didn't want to do, and I went and did it anyway. We had a drought come along, which means our power stopped working. Because our power stopped working, our garden stopped working. And because our garden stopped working, the distribution system of food and water stopped working. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are lots of places around here that are basically abandoned by beavers, I think. Um, uh, there might be some dotted around somewhere. I, I I basically had to come in and I went through the list. I've just gone, just gone through the list and I sent every living beaver to the farms every single living beaver went to the farms and then the game redistributed it where it needs to go anyway after that so that's fine but yeah um i sent all 100 and i think it was 150 at the time all to the farms and then the game's like hey when you've unpaused it hey it needs to go elsewhere because the farms only need this much beavers because yeah we had a problem and everyone we had loads of people die which is kind of a good thing because one it's made the game a bit smoother and i can run it at full speed now and it's not so bad it's still a little bit laggy still very laggy uh let's, let's not do that um it's better it's better um but we are uh yeah we are um we're cut back now we're cut back a little bit here um so things are good. uh other things i happened to do i had did have to turn on the second distribution post here um i had i had one pause um, i dropped them down to four uh, and some places won't get enough water. Um, they won't get enough water, so I had to, I had to re-enable here. I think food's okay because not, uh, the farms aren't the only ones sending food out. The grills uh, are sending two lots of food out. They are sending um, uh, grilled potatoes and chestnuts out, and we have bread as well. So there's there's three places sending food around. So food's good. There's only one place sending water around. So we needed more water here. Uh, I think this is caught up there. Yeah, this is up to thirty. Um, so yeah, so every beaver's working in there, everything's good. Some of these are dropping down, which is okay, which is okay. They should move these around here, I think, but we'll see how that's going. There's no beavers in there because we don't have enough robots working here. How many robots have I got working here? Uh, I need, I need 18. Um, I don't think I've done, oh, I have got 18, okay. Uh, I think there's a few places where I've had to redo the, the, uh, the cockheads because we've, um, turned up more inside our distribution posts so uh, however however on the good news on the good side of it uh we do have some explosives we have 61 in here 61 explosives but on this has been completely abandoned no one no one works here anymore this has been abandoned uh, we've just got some cockheads um so yeah uh it will it will hopefully fill back up again as we get more beavers come back I might need to re-enable some of these. Uh, I think we said this was 190 something, wasn't it? Let's, uh, let's see. So um, it's uh, 16 times 12 right now, which is 192 beavers, and we're currently on 124. So we should we should bounce back. But like I said we had a lot of beavers die. A lot of beavers die. Oh yes. Oh yes, we wanted some to go to to you know we, we needed some to pass on to move on. Uh, didn't want to kill them, just wanted them to die of old age. But oops. Uh, and yeah, I think that's probably about it. Oh, we've got some trees growing over here. Let's let's dispose of these. Quickly, quickly, before they spread again. There you go. Uh, so yeah, um, I think I think we're good. Oh, we're not kind of ready to blow these up down here yet. Although we kind of can, because our power grid is fine. So we could start with like these two, blow the the floor out. Put them back in again, put the engines in, and then move up. Do these two, do the same, do these two, do the same, do these two, do the same. I think that's going to be our best bet. We've got enough distribution posts here for everything. Uh, to be honest with you, the three is going to be enough. 
So I may get rid of these M2 and have just the four there. We got enough water. Definitely got enough water. Fine. So uh, yeah. Uh, oh, I've rechanged. I changed this as well, actually. Um, this one goes to everywhere apart from the. Uh, it starts at number four. Uh, this one is just doing the f the farms and the breeding pods, and uh, that's because our breeding pods ran out of water. They just just completely ran out of water. Uh, so I don't know. So I'm I'm kind of I kind of think we might have to rechange this again to something else. But it's uh, currently got just farms and breeding pods over and over and over to keep these two going, and then the other ones are all on this and on that. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's. Let's start with this then, shall we? Let's start with this. So let's get rid of these two large water wheels here. Goodbye, goodbye. Okay. And uh, we want to just basically come in here with explosives. We want to do uh, that. Cool. Now, none of them are going to get planted at all because... Uh, because this place doesn't have any, um, any explosives. So we need to do that. Let's export explosives to here. Explosives. There we go. Uh, but that's not going to happen until we get some beavers. Because we need some beavers here. Um, although we could move some golems up here. Uh, although I don't think we can. No, we've got 76 spaces spare. Vacancies. Why have we got 76 vacancies? Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, we have. We have. We've got... Wait, what? What? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hold the phone. Pause for a moment here. Why have we got 70? Is that because of these? Yeah. That's what it is. Distribution posts are all... Some of them are still set to 10 beavers, aren't they? Or they're just empty. Or they're just empty, because we're not producing as many cockheads as I thought. Uh, when our power drops, um, obviously this stops. So for about nine days, we're not producing any cockheads. So, yeah, it has it has its issues. So Okay, we can get rid of these two as well, like this. And we need to change this up as well. So I'm going to get rid of this here. I'm going to get rid of these two at the end here, because I don't want them there. Okay, and then we're going to run a path here. And then remove those. And we're going to put in that, that, and that. And do that. This is only temporary, because uh, this is actually going to become... There won't be a path running up there. There won't be a path running up there. So that's more of a temporary fix right now, just so everything's still connected. Uh, you, I think we'll still have the path running through here, and there'll be one up the middle. That's the idea. That's the idea. So we'll have to lower this this connection down. Uh, but we can do that after we've connected everything up together, because we're going to have to remove lots of things in here, which is going to become a little bit awkward. Can I go down underneath that? Like this. Up one. Like that. If I remove you. Yes, it just removes the path. Yes. There we go. Get rid of the path. Okay. So we can do other things here now. Return to the top. Okay. Because we need to reconnect this up because this still needs power down here. So we always need to have that connected. So let's build ourselves an engine or two. So we're going to have one there and one there. There we go. Okay. And then we build the wheels and then I'll destroy this centre bit and then reconnect it. That'll be fine. And then this, these will be connected to the main grid and these will be connected just to this for the time being. And that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we need uh, 3,000 power. These are going to produce 400. So 4, 8. And these are currently producing 
is 820, so that's 1600. 2400, so it's not enough for the entire grid, but it will be enough. It will be enough. It would slow everything down, but it will be enough to keep up Eva's charged and running and alive as it would be. So, uh, so what we'll do is we will uh, come back down again underneath like this, and we'll build these as well, which I think. Okay, okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put the path back in. We're gonna put in one there, then we wanna put in one here, here. Uh, let me let me put in the engines, let me put in all the engines. I know there's gonna be a two gap between them all. And then you can't put one in because of yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna pause these. Okay. Just so I can get the alignment correct. So you wanna go there. Build one there, build one there. Okay. But uh we need to build them. And then destroy the path, and then build the next one, destroy the path, build the next one, destroy the path. Build, because if we build all of them, you know, right. mind you, I need to run the power line down there as well. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be a little bit tedious to do. What I need to do is I need to build it piece by piece and let the beavers build it, and then put the next bit in, the next bit in, the next bit in, because because otherwise they get stuck, which is awkward as hell. Although I could put a a drop in to uh, let them get in here. They can walk up the side. Hmm. Yeah, I basically I need to we need to put in the power line. Like put in power line and then the connection let it build the next one, the next one, this one. So they're walking down this path all the time and they'll just build the one on the end. Because otherwise, if you tell them to build up three or four of them, they'll come down. Someone will build the one center one. Someone will build this one back here. A beaver will get stuck in the middle. It's awkward. We've had it before. It's bad. Very bad. Bad for business. So, so okay. So, yeah, so we need to do uh, like those two. And then that one, once those two are built. Uh, and then the main, you can come down here and do this one. And, then, and I'll get that built. Uh, and we'll get the two engines built. And we will wait for beavers. We will wait for beavers. I might unpause all of these just temporarily to give us a little bit of a boost. Because some of these are quite far through. Some of them are not. We'll just get a big influx of kids. Just one, 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 like one go. Okay, so I'll leave them running for five days. Because they take five days to produce a, a kid. And then they'll be back, a kit. And then they'll be back where they are. And then I can pause the game again. And I think we've done. And I will baby this. And uh, we'll let it get built. Time will go on. And and we'll be back in the world of tomorrow or whatever it is he says so we are back and we're in the world of, of tomorrow of the future it's here. we're here we're here i haven't paused these yet i should do that uh but um but m most importantly most importantly our engines are built and our explosives are placed. And this was a lot more hassle than I thought it was going to be. Because I put in the connections behind here. You can see they're all built. They're all, all the power shaft is down here. And then remembered that they needed to go up and down here to put in the explosives. Which they didn't do. They built these. And uh, then I had to remove them. And let them do things. Like that. Uh, so so I, I have a better plan. I have a better plan. What, what am we doing in the future? Is we're going to take all these out, all five of these out. We're going to put in some stairs either side, just like in the center somewhere. Put down all the explosives, blow the thing up, and then build them all back again, all in one go. That's the idea. 
So for a little while, we're going to be running on these here. Just these here. It's going to be interesting. I might wait for the next drought to do it, because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let us... Let us commence with the kaboobies. You ready? Boom. Ooh, that's a little laggy, but that's okay. That's okay. I have been trying to speed the game up. I'm going around and removing the um, uh, areas to drop, drop down trees to try and speed the game up a little bit as well. So uh, we're there. We are lightening the load on the system there. There we go. Yeah, it's all put in place and all done and dusted and happy and, and joyous and, and there is much rejoicing. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the the water wheels, which means we're going to cut these two parts. So let's cut this one. Uh, in fact, we can just cut it here and then uh, I can cut this one here as well. Which means that they can still... They can't get up the center. There's no, there's no connection via the centerpiece to there. So you've got to go up this side, and you've got to go up this side. And that's, that's just how it is right now. I'm really sorry. There is a path through and across, which is fine. That's going to stay there. There will be a path. I'm going to do this. There will be a path. So right, pause the game because. Very awkward to do with game running. So come down here. We need to get rid of this road. Okay. That will not get rid of the stuff above because I've dropped down the level. And it doesn't do that sort of thing. Awesome. Right. Now we want to put in our large water wheels. Ooh. One here, one here. Okay. We'll let them get built, and then we're going to drop the power pole down here for that. And then once the drought comes, we're going to turn this all off here, which does mean that things are not going to get power, at least temporarily. I'm hoping we can get this built quick enough. I might switch the builders back over to be beavers and just turn them up, so we can actually get some some beavers building things here. Don't know. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So the power shaft is in place, so all I have to do is connect the power shaft at this end and it will be connected. So hopefully, hopefully that'll be fine. And what I want to do as well is we need to up the amount of beavers that are going to stay here now. Because right now we are only having we are only having right now we have only five beavers that remain in this area. Uh, so and uh three cockheads. I did uh, go around and name some cockheads as well. Uh we've renamed some, but 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 come down. Oh, that's just for this district. Uh, we go global, global. There we go. Uh, we have uh, Cam Cam, Marvin, R2D2, two, two. Uh, Rutger, Saxton, Vincent, and Wally. All two. All version two. Because all the rest of them, they've all So Roberto's the only one there. Um, but yeah, everyone else is is, uh, is is the second. Apart from R2D2, who is R2D2, two. Because I thought that was funny. So there we go. There we go. And if you want, if you want to be, if you want to be a golem, let me know. Let me know, and we will we will name more golems after people. And uh, I have a list of all the people, and um, we'll try and remember what names, what numbers they're up to. I need to update the list to like number two. Like that. But anyway, uh, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need three more beavers for this district here. So I need to change this to be. So we're going to have five, ten, twelve, thirteen. This needs 13 B. Don't know why I'm saying sick right now. Can you give me a breakdown of your buildings? Any building pot? Building. Two gatherers flag. Holding post. Oh, three inventors, but they're not important. Ignoring them. Oh, and we have a lumberjack flag as well. Okay. So we want 13. We want 13 B. Yeah. So we're going to say a minimum of 13 B. And then as these ones grow up, these 36 grow up, they will stay. So, we're going to run a road up here. And a road up here. And 
and I'm going to redo this road here, we're going to get rid of this road here, this one here. So, I think that's going to work, I think. So I'm going to get rid of that road there, that road there, this one here, this one here, and we'll connect those there. And also, we'll connect this one here. Oop. 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 There we go. Okay. So this whole centerpiece is run by the uh, um, the district one. District one. Um, okay. So let's get rid of this road. No longer required. If we want to change up this one here, hold on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This one doesn't need to be got rid of, but I'm going to move it anyway. Because we kind of can now. Bum So you're going to come out here. Do something like that. Can't take that up because of pathing. That's fine. Um, if I delete that and put it there, then we can connect that up. Awesome. Let's put a bridge going down there and a road going down here. This is all owned by District 1. And then this one is the same. This one wants to have the path come basically straight out, down, and then a connection in here. And it's the same down here. Awesome. Okay. There we go. So that's good. So this District 1 owns all of this. This entity. Awesome. There, because there, you logs owns all the way up to here. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do a thing across here as well. That's fine. This will dry out in a moment. That's okay. Okay, let's go. You are, and you are. Right, I'm gonna pause both of you because there's no point in you running. All especially, there's no point in you running right now. You have no connection to the bag right in any way, shape, or form. Right, so we have six golems out of energy. Why? Where do you belong? You belong in logs. I think you're probably a distributor. Yeah. And there's not enough power. Kind of big that way. Oh, if we get another power along with I could move the campfire. Yeah, I think we will. I think we move the campfire. Put the campfire up here. Oop. Get rid of this. No, no, not many beavers are using it. That's fine. But we do need to have more, more power. So we'll do, we'll do that. Put another two in. I think that should cover everything here. I mean, it should, I mean, you've only got, it's about seven golems it can deal with, so we're on 12. So, yeah, I don't know why. Where do you work? You don't, you're unemployed. So, I don't know where you used to work, though. You may have been working in one of these distribution pods. Posts, even. Um, and uh, that means that when it goes, it just, it just struggles. Uh, we have four flooded buildings. Uh... What's happening here? Come on. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't think that's a knock on effect from this. It might be. It might be. Don't, don't know. Put a rope there. Your all the stuff grab fine. Okay. You're helping to build that one. You're helping to build this one, and this little one is building both. So okie dokie. Okie dokie, there we go. Our potatoes are not going anywhere. Probably because we're good for grilled potatoes. 
Yeah, we're pretty good with grilled potatoes. Okay, so we're all right for that. The grillers are running over time. Uh, they're not really running over time for the chestnuts because we don't have enough beavers. Uh, stuff starting to knock back here, so I did. Yeah, that's that's what I did. That that's, the explosives have done that. That's going to cause a bit of a problem for us, but not so much because I might even change this up here to be in a. Uh, no, no, maybe not, maybe not. Um, yeah, everything's knocking back and flooding. Makes sense. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Okay. So we'll get this built. We'll get... More stuff going on there. Yeah, everything, everything's going to flood. Every single source is going to flood where the, uh, the ripple, the tidal wave's gone back up and through. Uh, what I need to do is let the water out faster, which means getting rid of one, one or getting rid of one of these dams. <clears throat> one or two of these dams, letting the water flow out quicker. Yeah, we'll leave it for the minute. Yeah, things are flooding. But it will be fine. It will be fine. We'll leave this one. We'll leave this one here. We will come back next time. We will carry on from there. I still need more explosives to be made. Um, I did not put in the charging station. The golem. Oh. That's a terrible, terrible oversight. Um... Which is back to being beavers. Because now we're going to need someone to build these. Oh, stuff is flooded all over the place. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. okay. So we get those built. That's fine. Um, six beavers are out there. All these ones here. Yes, it's both out there. This will, yeah, the water will come down. The water will come down. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, we are going to leave this one here. And we're going to come back next time. Hopefully when I have enough explosives to do this. I need uh, two, four, five, eight. I need 80. 80 explosives to do this because it's 10 explosives per, per one. So I need 80 explosives. And we currently have in the world 34. So we've got a while to go. We've got a while to go. But we will get there. And then hopefully before the next round we'll do this. But very, at the very least these are going to be built. At the very least, these will be built, and then once they're built, we can um, re-enable the engines and give ourselves a bit of a Kickstarter. So, it won't be enough power to run the entire system, but it will be enough power to keep our golems charged throughout the drought. At least, hopefully, we will see. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.